Hello bakers, welcome back for a new recipe, hot chocolate focaccia. Just imagine the softness and richness, the enticing aroma of butter and chocolate that will soon fill your kitchen. Believe me, you will just make this recipe over and over again. Now let's jump into the steps. But before we start, make sure your lukewarm water is just right. It should be between 110 and 150 degrees Fahrenheit or between 43 and 46 degrees Celsius. Add instant yeast and sugar. Give it a stir and set aside. In a mixing bowl, add all-purpose flour and a little bit of salt. Using a hook attachment at low speed, combine both ingredients. Here is the yeast. Look at how it's blooming. It means that it's very active and ready to go. Add it to the flour. Increase the speed of your mixer. And let it go until the flour is almost absorbed. But before the flour is completely absorbed, add the melted butter. If the dough is too wet, you can add a little bit of flour, but just go by one tablespoon at a time. Keep mixing until it reaches what is called the cleaning bowl stage. And the dough is ready. It's a little bit sticky, but don't worry about it. We are going to leave the dough in the bowl and rest for about 45 minutes. Or until it doubles in size. Dust the table with a little bit of flour and place the dough to the table. Stretch it a little bit. And here I'm using some hot chocolate. You can choose whatever brand you prefer. Add some chocolate chips. Fold the dough. Add more hot chocolate and chocolate chips. Roll the dough, make it into a bowl, melt some butter and put it into a baking pan. Place the dough and let it rest for about 15 minutes. Stretch it slightly again, add more hot chocolate, and let it proof again for about 45 minutes or until doubled in size. Add some melted butter, just poke the dough, just like if you're making focaccia. Add some extra chocolate chips. Set 
some sugar for that extra crunch. And don't forget a generous amount of softened butter. And here you have it, look at that. The smell is absolutely incredible. It's soft and a little bit crunchy at the bottom. A delightful masterpiece. Thanks for baking with me today. Don't forget to stay tuned for a video on making your own hot cocoa from scratch. If you enjoyed this baking adventure, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more mouth-watering recipes, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy baking, and thank you for watching. <laughs>